Welcome to Conversations Live. For more than a decade, we've brought you the best in books, entertainment, celebrity interviews, and current events. When the movers and shakers of the world have something to say to you, they say it to us first. Here's your host, Cyrus Webb. Welcome back, everyone, to Conversations Live. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again. But for a radio audience tuning in at WYED 94.1 FM and WYEDonline.com, we're glad that you all could be with us. Also, it's tuning in to our friends at iHeartRadio and Amazon Music Podcast. We're glad you all could be with us as well. I'm so excited to welcome actress Jamie King to our program today. You guys have seen her in some outstanding projects, and she's beginning 2023 in a very big way. It's a new movie that's coming to Lifetime on January the 28th. It's one you probably have seen promos for all already. It's called Hoax, The Kidnapping of Sherry Papini. We're going to talk to Jamie not only about what it's like for her to be a part of this project, but also what she hopes you're able to take away from it as well. Jamie, thank you again for the time. Really appreciate you stopping by. Thank you for having me. So look, we're definitely going to talk about Hoax here in a moment, but I want to first begin by talking about this extraordinary career you've been able to do. What has it been like for you, Jamie, to have made the goal for yourself, uh, to be able to be an actor, (laughs) and now, of course, to see that, that goal being realized? I mean, it's really a dream come true. You know, it's uh, having the opportunity to be a storyteller and to meet and connect with so many extraordinary characters and, and work with such extraordinary human beings is like, it's kind of indescribable. You know, it's it's really the love of my life. And um, yeah, it never really ceases to amaze me how how fortunate I am. And, Jamie, you've been able to bring to to life so many amazing characters. When people hear your name, I think people have their own favorite role. Has that been part of the fun for you, to slip into different types of skin of characters and bring them to life? Absolutely. Uh, That's the best part, I think, you know, um, is really learning how to use so many different modalities, whether it's your voice, your body, your – every time you do a character, the process changes, and that, to me, is – ultimately very fascinating and also, you know, to be able to t- entertain people and, um, it, it, yeah, just have an oppor- opportunity to explore so many um, ways of life as well um, and personality types is, is really, it's really cool and it's really fun to see who responds to what, you know, and it's, it's nice to be able to be a chameleon in a way and to touch into different audiences and I really, um, it's fun. Yeah, and, and Jamie, that brings us then to hoax. Again, I mean, this is something anyone who's watched the news, I'm the news director also for the station here. So, I mean, we all have heard about Sherry Papini, but what is it that made you want to be a part of this Project Hoax? Honestly, uh, I was like late to the game on the Sherry Papini story because it had been going on, I guess, for a long time. Um, mm-hmm. But I was scrolling through the news and it popped up on my feed and I was like, wow, this is so fascinating. Like, what's up with this story? And I was like, I'm, I'm going to option this story. I'm going to turn this into a movie, or someone should t- turn it into a movie. And it was literally less than 24 hours later. And I got the call that I got a movie offer, and I asked what it was about, and they said it's the Sherry Papini story. And I was like, no way. That's so crazy. Um, I think what, the reason why I wanted to do it is because it was such a salacious news story that when I see something that's very salacious like that, uh, Something about it made me want to like dig deeper into it and be like, okay, is there something underneath here that we're not discussing or that's not out there? And, um, you know, clearly there are mental health issues with her, um, but there was just something about this story that made me want to like delve deeper into it and 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 bring humanity to it. Yeah. Jamie, you keyed up perfectly, almost like we set this up, which I want our audience to know we did not. Jamie and I did not talk before our conversation today, but there was a post you made on Instagram. I actually wanted to paraphrase it from January the 9th. And I, when I saw the post, I thought, you know what, this says so much about you as an actor, but also as wanting to be able to keep the humanity, especially when we're dealing with real life. You, you started off the post on January the 9th, Jamie, by saying, Sherry Papini, I am grateful to be your advocate. And then you say, my intention is to give Sherry her rights back. The salacious headlines are BS. We must dig deeper and recognize someone who has been abused and the mental health issues that are denied. And that is, I have to say, a 
a totally Jamie King post in that you've been able to <laughs> be someone very outspoken and, you know, and not afraid to share your feelings. So what is it like for you to bring that to the fore? Yes, people will watch it in some ways because of the entertainment value of it, Jamie, mm-hmm. but what, what do you hope by having that conversation about the underlying issues people take away from this, this film? Um, you know, it, it's it's just really important to me that um, – especially now during these times more than ever, that we just start getting real about mental health issues mm-hmm. and about the effects of um, abuse and things like that because uh, they're very serious issues. And what Sherry did was horrifically wrong. And um, at the same time, you know, there there's always a why behind something, right? There's always a why and always a reason. Um, and... I, I just think it's really important to talk about those things. Um, you know, a lot of people were hurt through what it is that she did. And yet uh, I feel, and what I uncovered was allegedly she grew up with a lot of abuse. And um, and I, I'm, a, I, I have a funny feeling about her husband too, but that, I, you know, I'm not trying to throw anybody under the bus. I just want to do my best to bring, again, humanity um, to to whomever I'm playing, whether they are real, uh, a real human being or, you know, a character on a page which is still a real human being to me. Um, and just pose questions for audiences, you know what I mean? Just right. pose questions. And you've been able to do that in these different roles, Jamie. But also I would have to say, not only have you garnered fans, as you know, literally from around the world, but you have inspired people as well. Has that been something that's been a comfortable thing for you, to be a – source of inspiration. I know for some people in the public eye, the idea of being a role model is not something they gravitate toward. <laughs> but is that something that you've made peace with? Yeah. I mean, I I just try and do everything that I can to be as honest as possible in the work that I do. And as you know, I'm a huge activist, and there, mm-hmm. there, there are causes that deeply matter to me. And it's it's I don't know how to describe it other than it, it's bigger than me. It feels bigger than me, and I have a real thing about injustice. And, it, you know, it, if you have a voice in any way, shape, or form, it, it must be used, I believe, to to bring awareness to things and to change things. You know, there are just too many issues that are going on globally right now. And um, I'm not afraid to be outspoken about stuff like that. You know, I think it's... Right. it's um, very, very, very important. Very, very important. Yeah. I have to ask you this question, Jamie, and again, we do appreciate this time, and we definitely want our audience to make sense and watch hoax. It, was it hard for you to come out of? Because I, I've seen you know interviews with you over the years, and I see how dedicated you are to roles that you play. Sherry Papini, was it, was it difficult for you to let her go at the end? It was. It really was. It was like those days were really – hardcore because we were filming like 17 hours a day and I had um, a hair sewn into mine because my hair is short and so my hair was very very long and it was this real hair from another human being and that part freaked me out Um, but because it was sewn in I I, like at the end of the day it was like I couldn't get her (laughs) off of me per se you know and um, and it was it was a really emotional really really intense part to play and so it's like when you're coming out of a character um it's like it's like boom you're wrapped and not only are you leaving this environment that's become a that's a very intimate environment on a set you know and um going back home and you're just sort of like shuffling around the grocery store like uh you like you feel like a zombie you know what i mean because you don't you have to start to remember, okay, is this me or is this her or what is it, yeah. you know? And so getting grounded again takes time, you know? It, it takes time. Well, look, I'm excited about our audience <clears throat> being able to see it. The, the promos for it are definitely captivating. Again, everyone, Jamie King has been our guest. Again, the the movie that's coming out on January 28th, again, is one that you all want to make plans to watch. It's called Hoax, The Kidnapping of Sherry Papini, again, on Lifetime. For our audience, it's 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central on Lifetime on January 28th. So make sure you guys are making plans to watch that. Jamie, again, congratulations to you. Thank you so much for the time and looking forward to our next chat together. Thank you. I always enjoy talking to you. Thank you very much. 
Hey, thank you. And we thank you, our audience, for tuning in to another great segment of Conversations Live. Until next time, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying, as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Live. And let's go make today amazing. Take care. <music>